I don't like to ask nobody for anything and I'll go out of my way to take care of myself. Once you start sitting at home and not going out and doing stuff, pretty soon you're pushing daisies up. Well, I just cook that a little bit and then I have clean traps to start with. It's best not to leave any smell other than your bait so that the animal, when he comes there, he's, he's not smelling and going on alert because he smells a human or a dog, which smells like a wolf, I would guess. I've been trapping here close to 40 years, and uh, the Martin are the most uh, expensive fur. Over the years there, I've saved quite a few Martin, and they're kind of like a savings account. That's part of being independent. I have family in the lower 48. They worry about me. They know I'm old and they don't know how much longer I can last doing what I do. But uh, I might surprise them. I put the bait up for the Martin to be looking up there at it and not be paying attention to my trap in any way. The Martin, he's going to come here smelling that deer hide and he's going to kind of walk up. And then hopefully when I get here in the morning, he'll be in the trap. That's the first one of the year. There's a real good chance that I'll have one here in the morning. Well, all that's left here is I'm going to get some moss. Let's make the bed for the trap to sit on. And that's all there is to it. I'm probably a, a way smarter trapper than when I first started. It's a trial and error thing. Well, this is a pole set. The reason that you do this is that the snow can get this deep and this pole set will still work. A lot of the old trappers, they use this pole set. Now that I got all my traps set there, I'll head for home and uh, we'll see tomorrow how it works. As you can see there, the Martin came in here and tore us all up. There is this tore the hair off of that hide there. But no cigar here. Anticipation is part of what keeps you going for this stuff. And I'll be thinking, you know, am I going to catch one here? Am I going to catch one there? You just never know. I'm going to go a little closer though to check the trap. Nothing here. Usually I don't have this much trouble. Heck, I used to catch as high as nine or 10 in a day. So things have changed and not for the good either. Well, most of the time when I go out to check my traps there, I'm kind of anticipating catching something. And so I'm kind of down when I don't, but I'm very thankful that I get to go and see what's going on out there. And it gives me a little bit more exercise. And then there's the anticipation of catching a critter. There, I always get a charge out of catching those things. Well, it wasn't a Martin or he would have tore the out of that bait more like a mouse or something. If you catch a mouse where well, your trap is done, you, you don't catch nothing else. So you take care of it, then set it again. There's all the things that can stop that trap from working. Yeah, that's more better there, much better. So that's three in a row, we got nothing. Well, as it is there, you can't let these things bother you. If you're just gonna give up on the first thing that bothers you there, well, you might as well be uh, a bartender or something because you ain't gonna make it trapping. Well, you can see they worked the out of this. They ringed this tree. Well, I'm looking around here and I see a lot of beaver sign here. Now, everywhere you look there, they've been working. Right here, they felled that one, then they cut the top out of it. They drag this stuff up to their feed pile for later. I don't like to come out here and uh, not get anything. I'm wasting my fuel, so I'm gonna try to catch a beaver here while I'm not catching anything else. 
Well, this looks like a good spot right here. This is their trail where they come over the dam. If I put it in here with one of these beaver sticks that they already cleaned off. What you do is you look for where they cross the dam because they go out of here and then they bring their food back up here. They're quite the critter there and they work all the time. People think, well, it's just a rodent, you know, can't be that hard, but they're a little smarter than the average guy thinks. I don't qualify to be a martin trapper so far, so I gotta indulge the beavers. Wow, we finally got something there. It's a pretty good sized beaver there, 45, 50 pounds, and it's a nice dark pelt there, so at least I'm, I catch something there and I'll take care of this hide and tan it up and uh, have something to remember this poor Martin season up by. I was really hoping for a Martin today but I'm really happy to get this beaver. The beaver there, it'll make a nice big pelt. That means I got some work.